and we are back from a short break there. Uh, thank you for waiting. Uh, I know everyone's anxious to get into the next thing, uh, but we have quite a fun segment coming up for the next couple of minutes. Uh, do you want to introduce it, Yurazi? Yes, so as many of you have probably seen other, well, Overwatch content creators and generally a lot of content creators do, we're going to do what we call Guess My SR, where you lovely people send in some clips of you performing or playing, and then we're going to watch them and, well, guess what your SR is. And do we have a host today? Do you want to introduce yourself? Hey, uh, I'm Teach. Uh, I am a coach for currently a diamond team, but I have coached many different teams from kind of gold to masters. Um, I have, I used to be a player, used to scrim about 4.2. Basically, I'm just going to be looking to try and guess what's going on, um, who's playing where. But yeah, bring on the clip. Uh, yeah, so we'll just switch over to the clip screen first, um, and we will go ahead and uh, give it a play. Beautiful shot. Nice. Okay, so... Can we just play that one again? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you, thank you. Okay, so pause it right now. So right now, we're on defense. Uh, Widow is somehow in that choke, and the enemy team is brawling on the objective. Um, we have a Ryan also following the Widow in. So right now, I can probably tell you that, considering the kind of game sense awareness and whatnot required for this, is probably below Diamond. Um, the shot is pretty clean. Just hit play for a sec. Go until it kills a Moira. We invested Shatter. I can't tell what the score is like play account wise, but pretty nice shots. Uh, you can see some like like flat widows was very nice mechanic. So I'm gonna say this is somewhere in flat. Um, considering the enemy team's running a Moira, uh, you know Ryan's area Moira, pretty nice brawl comp, but brawl isn't good. So again, game sense not that good. I'm probably going to go with mid flat, just to guess. Let's say 2.7. 2.7. Okay, that's great. <laughs> Let's see what the SR is. Let's see what the actual SR is. Hmm. And 2.7, almost. Is it? It's like 2,700. <laughs> I don't know how you well it's Clap. Damn, so far so good. Spot on. <laughs> it's so obvious why we brought you in for this. Well done. <laughs> Okay, let's go ahead for the next clip here. Moving on to the second clip, we have a Ryan play here. And we see the golden hammer, we always like that. Okay, Zarya. Ooh, corner shadow, okay. Ryan, Zarya, Reaper, Anna, Zen. Okay, enemy team, pretty solid composition, except from the soldier and the support line. So, uh, we're looking at. Since we're not sticking to hard meta, I would say that this is not GM. Um, really nice corner shadow, though. I can't really get a gauge on the rest of the team. Um, but bubble in at the right time. Really nice follow up. I'm going to say this is Masters. Um, I don't think you're going to find that kind of synergy in Diamond. Um, if I would have to guess, I'm just going to roll it. Uh, <laughs> Where do I put it? Where do I put it? <laughs> I mean, Zarya used her own self at the same time, which is pretty bad, right? Don't want to be mm. using two bubbles at the same time. You want to get a like, nice rotation, like kind of four or five seconds between each other, so that you're maintaining uptime, maintaining a uh, charge, being able to control aggro properly. So let's put it uh, somewhere a bit lower, let's say 3.6, 3.7. Final guess, okay. 3.7, I guess. 3.7. Let's okay. have a look. This could be a big compliment if they're not there. We lost that game, they said. Okay. <laughs> Happy eyes, dude. And it's a very nice corner shadow, though. 3.6. You're almost <gasps> spot. <laughs> <laughs> that is okay. extremely cl Quite close. Bad. That's extremely close, yeah. So far, so good. I, I think I'll give you this one. That was, like, close enough at that point. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was, that was really good. I almost went for 3.6. I should have went for it, because I said Zarya. <laughs> Both bubbles. Yeah. Kind of like a... So we have a okay. German Genji. 
a wolf <laughs> with the red Genji clip. Okay, can you play it again, but in uh, 0 0.5 speed? Because the <laughs> thing about Genji is uh, micro movement is very important, so you need to be very careful. So following with the dash on the dive, that's not bad. But the thing is, the di the dive was on the diva, right? Not a good target because she has boosters, she has an escape. We pick the monkey, we go for a blade. There's no nano follow up. He doesn't look for a, um reflect on the Kree. Uh pretty fast reactions doesn't look for a dash before that okay so pretty decent but the problem is the timing is kind of bad the initial dive was not on a good target um but in terms of mechanics wise it's like it's not bad it's okay but they aren't respecting stuns like uh, better korea is gonna hit that shot and you're going to die um bends out on the dynamite no 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 so i'm gonna say because there's no combo we're looking at this can't be higher than like mid diamond, right? Um, above mid diamond, you know, the blade is just gonna get focused. You're just not gonna get kills unless you uh, have the sufficient like follow up. Um, based on the mechanics, I'm gonna say it's probably looking towards mid, like high plat, mid to high plat maybe. Uh, especially with the bad dive, like not know having the game sense of what makes a good dive and what doesn't. Um, so I'm gonna say let's say two point nine. 2.9? Okay. 2.9. Uh, guess my SR. 3.3k. <laughs> Ooh, that was quite far away. I'm quite far off on that one. I mean, I guess I would just expect to see the Anna. Like, I would just expect to see a Nano Blade come out mm -hmm. from that. But then again, they were on a dive comp and you're probably not going to see that in Platinum Bunny. So, yeah. Fair enough. I mean, two out of three is not actually that bad. Um, and this time we actually have both team compositions. And Lukau. Uh, Lukau was playing last game on Echo as well. Some pretty uh, good copies and then some quest questionable shadows afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> but let's see. Play it back? Yep. Okay, so copying road, solid copy. Um, it's usually good for like solid burst of impact, especially against this area. The enemy team has a road area, Genji, Missy, Anatrasis. Which is questionable. The fly in afterwards into a full charge Zarya, very questionable. Like uh, very um risky play, but this entry is good. So I'm gonna say there's like some pretty solid game sense um foundations. Like um you know, the like they understand the game from like a macro sense in terms of timing and stuff, but how on uh, in terms of like actual mechanics of the character maybe a little bit off. Um, so I'm just gonna also from the rank, the compositions, not meta, not even close to any kind of you know standardized idea, brawl, pick, poke, uh, dive, whatever. So. With that in mind, I'm going to say that this is the exact type of composition and this is the exact type of thing that you'd see in like low diamond. Um, like where people play for ultimate win conditions rather than like team or neutral fight win conditions. So I'm going to say uh, 3k, 3.1. I'm just going to say 3k. 3k? Okay. 3k. Let's go ahead and have a look. Uh, at the time around 2.8, current SR 3.2, tank SR 3.5. Yeah, fair enough. A um, little bit but off, but yeah. These uh, two fine. average out to 3k, so I'd say <laughs> that's pretty good damn spot on. Yeah, pretty close. Got that uh, pretty good. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> Much appreciated. <laughs> uh, do we have another one to go up next? Yes. Yeah we, uh, yeah, we have a few more technically in backup, but for the moment we have this clip up too. It's a little bit longer clip, it would seem like, but... Maybe that gets you a little bit more to watch. Not sure. Okay, funny uh, movement control after the grapple. Um, Diva bomb engage. Three die to it. Okay. Uh, open res in the same sight line. An Arisa Diva comp. Oh, rest of six, sorry. Nice shot. 
Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that was aggressive. Yeah, questionable uh, movement again. Um, this is quite a long clip, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Timing the shots with the like uh, as the trajectory and the jump went downwards, which is kind of what you want to do. Um, okay, so let's just I'm not gonna probably want to watch the entire thing through again all the way, but let's just go to like halfway, see how it goes. Okay, so the enemy team's on a Ryan Diva Sombra comp, which is actually a pretty solid rush like bait, like uh, basis. Um, you're looking for really fast fights here, like hack someone going hard. It's pretty solid against double shield as long as you can get the uh, rush distance properly. Um, the only thing is they're playing it with a Widow. Um, they're also playing it with a Mercy Moira, so that kind of implies that it's more of a one trick kind of Sombra rather than an actual compositional um, choice. Um, which, looking at the you know DPS Moria chasing the Widow and whatnot, um, and the kind of chaotic nature, like everyone's playing a bit split, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. I'm gonna say this is platinum once again. Um, solid mechanics, but like uh, there's lacking kind of general game sense and kind of lacking team play specifically. Like no com no communications probably no um you know. Like choices of like, oh, sick, I'm going to be peeking this top right window, come with me, sh you can shield me, etc, etc. Um, I'm going to say this is probably, uh, let's say 2.6. 2.6, okay. Seems like 3.7k at the time, it's a 4k screen. 3.7! Whoa, okay, that's a big I difference. <laughs> <laughs> I apologize, but like it just seems so all over the place. It seems, uh... but then again, I guess you get games like that. I mean, it's ranked, anything can happen. And welcome back again. Sorry for that quick little break. We just had to sort some stuff out, but we are back with the same segment as before. We have Guess My SR with Tej again. Yo, what's going on, guys? How's it going? Have you been watching this tournament? Yeah, that's game. Pretty solid, pretty fun. Uh, the brawl cobs were kind of strong, but mm -hmm. all right, should we get into it? Yeah, go ahead. We've got the first clip coming up now. Okay, so another spicy widow one. Uh, seems like a lot of these are widows. Yeah, yeah, seem very popular. <laughs> brave, Ooh. incredibly brave. Nice shots, though. Maybe a bit overly so. <laughs> yeah, really, sure. really clean shots. I mean, every shot's a headshot, demands a mudding. Nah, uh, seriously, though. <laughs> um, uh, can you pause it? Yes. Cool. So those kinds of flicks that you see, um, kind of little micro flicks, are very indicative of someone very comfortable with the character. So what they'll do is, they'll um, have the muscle memory of uh, putting the crosshair in a position relative to the target, and then they'll just do the same flick every single time. Um, so this is someone who is likely a Widow player through and through. This is very much a comfort pick for them. The aggression is indicative of someone feeling themselves, which obviously they are. This man is hitting every shot. Um, <laughs> but apart from the mechanics, because the thing about Widow mechanics is that you have some very insane players in like Diamond, right? You have some very mechanically gifted players. So mechanics alone aren't generally enough to kind of give insight into the rank. So if we look at the compositions, we're looking at Double Bubble, Doom, and a Mercy, which isn't that bad, but I feel like... Ah, Let's say a top 500 player, for example, would just instinctively go on to Tracer because I feel like Tracer is just too strong not to be played um, mm -hmm. with Double Bubble. Um, and then if we look at the enemy comp, they've got like a Poke Brawl hybrid uh, with a Lucio Ryan Zarya. So these are both pretty, like, actually not bad compositions. So it's kind of implying to me a little bit higher. Um, the only thing is, you know, Roadhog. 
Ryan Road, pretty trash. That grapple, he might just be feeling himself, but it's very brave and a very easy way to just throw this away. Um, but yeah, um, if I had to guess, I'll probably go a bit conservative because I feel like uh, Widow Doom is just not a double bubble DPS line, even though it's not horrible. Um, I'd probably say that this is, let's say, low masters, let's say 3.6. 3.6, let's go ahead and have a look. 3.5.6. Ooh, you were very close. I guess we round it up, right? I think so. That'd be almost exactly 3.6. Set at the time 3.1, but highest SR 3.6. Okay, at the time 3.1. I mean, yeah. Um, at 3.1, I'd kind of be surprised to see that composition, like those compositions coming out, but at the same time, um, like, you know, as I said, like you have very gifted mechanical players um, in Diamond. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely. And I guess because they climbed out, that's that proves that they were. That they they were probably just had well. some aspect of their play, their positioning, something like that, that was just so out of whack, but once they've got that to a decent level, they'll just climb. Yeah, there we go. Uh, going to the next one. Reinhardt got the shadow online. Let's see it. Nice 180. Cool. All right. So it's a essential brawl mirror. They're playing Lucio Bap on both teams, which is actually pretty hard meta right now. Um, you only ever swap to the Moira when the enemy team is running something that is just absolutely farming your Baptiste. So if you're mirroring, but they have a Doom brawl, right? Doom can usually hard counter the BAP, and then that's when you would swap to Moira. But looking at the actual play, um, if, I feel like if it was, again, higher, um, that flash would be communicated. You go for a flash shadow, right? Mm -hmm. Or you'd have the reaction time to follow up on it, because that's like free two kills right there. Um, but then again, knowing to shadow out the grav, the 180 was pretty good timed. Um, I'm going to go with... Rhino Rissa as well. This looks like a scream type composition. Um, I'm gonna yeah. go with uh, let's say 3.4, bec just because they haven't like uh, there wasn't a communication on the flash to and then like immediate response to follow up. But there's like solid, solid uh, game sense fundamentals kind of following through. I think you're okay. right about this being a script because Blue Dog is in this game too. Oh, is he? <laughs> I, I can't actually see from my perspective because uh, the Typics, yeah yeah the screen's too small but yeah um, uh, yeah yeah blue we've dog got, is... we've, we've got some people in chat saying gold or some master so <laughs> I mean I see someone saying top five hundred easy in chat so <laughs> now we have three point five four seven not far off again pog you. <laughs> Easy clap. clap. <laughs> and I guess uh, Algos, you got masters, so uh, unless you're in that scrim yourself, pretty well done. Okay, oh, moving on to. Oh, that's the same Widow one again. This clip. <laughs> uh, uh, okay. We have a Hanzo clip here. Stealth snipers. People love to play snipers. I mean, it's misleading, right? Um... Because people always connect uh, insane mechanics with high levels, so it's misleading when you send in like a sniper clip because, like, you know, you can be anywhere from like diamond to top 500. Um, and it's a little compilation of clips here. Yeah, it does. So, what are you seeing from that? Um, First off, because it's like kind of flitting in between, it's hard to pick to like pick out the composition. I'm seeing double bubble though. I'm seeing um, tracer in it, so kind of pog. Um, what are they against? Rhino Rissa, kind of interesting. Um, I mean, with the recent Arissa buff, I don't know if this is on the right patch, but with the recent Arissa buff, Rhino Rissa brawls are definitely viable depending on the map. Um, although, it's hard to tell because of the cuts. 
I think yeah. it, from the composition alone, I think there's a solid understanding of like meta. Like even though Hanzo isn't great in double bubble, he's always like a solid B plus tier pick um, mm -hmm. most of the time. So I'm gonna have to like uh, double shoot. Um, I'm gonna have to say that this is like. Three point seven, three point seven. It's a bit of a tricky one. Uh, we've got Algo saying plat in chat. Not sure anyone else has said anything. Well, we're gonna see who wins. Chat who's guessing plat, or our coach here guessing three point seven. I mean, I might be way off. Who knows, right? Current two point six, peak two point eight. <gasps> two point six. Ooh, you are well off with that one. Uh, well oh, off so with that one. I mean, uh, it's hard to see. I'm just going off the compositions. Um, you know, things happen, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it happens. And it looks like um, this was actually from the tourney today uh, from people in the chat are saying. So this must be one of those maps that we weren't watching. Ah, I see, I see. Well, uh, well so I guess, it's a, it's, a, I guess it's a, what, three points, probably 3.2 average on the team. But this is just uh, their personal SR is 2.6. Yeah, good job to them. I mean, like, uh, positioning wise, they're kind of capitalizing on the enemy teams. Like, the enemy teams running a brawl comp, so they can't really force them off this high ground until they, like, do a full rotation. But since the enemy team's brawl isn't flushing the high ground at all, uh, they aren't clearing the high ground, then you can just capitalize on that fact. Um, so, yeah, well played.